Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to finish the implementation of our client-side authentication service. We are going to do an HTTP POST call to the server using the new Angular HTTP client. Now let's go back here to our authentication service and now that we know what is the public API of the service, we are going to be implementing here the signup method. Let's just quickly go here to the signup screen and we're going to call the method itself. So here is the template of the component. Whenever we click sign up, we're going to call sign up method here at the level of the component class. And here we are going to inject also the authentication service. Using the service, we are simply going to call the sign up method. So let's see how we are going to do that. We're going to call sign up. We're going to have here the value that came from the form. So let's quickly check here the template. This value here that is getting submitted is being obtained here from the form group that corresponds to this instance variable here. So form.value will contain a JSON object with all the values of the form. Let's then use this JSON object to make the HTTP call to the backend. We are simply going to add here some very simple uh, validation logic just to make sure that we do have a value for the email and we do have a value for the password and that that value of the password that it's identical here to the confirm field. So with this uh, logic in place, we could do here a call to the backend authentication service. We are going to call the off service then, we are going to call the sign up method and we are simply going to pass in here both the email and the password. And because this is going to return an observable, we are going to subscribe directly to this observable because otherwise the HTTP call would never be made. We are simply going to add here some logging to the console to say that indeed the user was created successfully. In another implementation, this could show a message to the user. So we are also going to add here some error handling. We are going to call console.error if an error occurred in the backend so that we can have the full stack trace of the problem. Now let's implement the signup method. We have here the email and the password. So the way that we are going to implement this is we are going to do a HTTP post to the backend. So using the new HTTP client, we are going to call post. We are going to hit the slash API slash signup URL in order to create a new user. And we're going to pass in as the body of this HTTP post request. We're going to pass in a JSON object which contains two properties, email and password. So because it's the same name for the property and the variable used for the value, we are using the shorthand notation. And once this HTTP POST call returns from the server, we will expect to receive in the response body the user object itself so that we can emit it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to return the result of this HTTP POST call and we are going to add here a generic parameter to the POST call saying that this returns an object of type user otherwise the default object type would have been used instead. Now because we are returning this HTTP POST uh, observable and we would like to make sure that we never run into situations where this was called multiple times. So to avoid to create multiple users, this is a typical example of an HTTP call that we want to make sure that we don't call multiple times accidentally. We're going to use here a new operator that was specifically introduced to cover caching of HTTP requests it's the share replay operator. We're going to add it here at the level of the application module so that it's available everywhere in our application. So the advantage of this new operator is that the resulting observable is still retriable, but the result of the HTTP post is still being cached. So this observable would be returned here to the signup component and let's quickly fix here this typo. This is subscribe. So this observable would be subscribed here and we would have access here to the 
user data if we would like to at the level of the signup component. In the case of this service, what we want to do here is whenever we get the data back, we also want to emit it here to any parts of the application that would be notified that the new user data is available. So we are going to use here the do operator. Let's quickly add it here to our application module. So we are going to take the user data that we got from the backend and we're going to broadcast it to the rest of the application. Using our subject, we are going to call next and any part of the application that was subscribed to user or to any of its derived observables would receive a new value for that observable. And with this in place, we have our client side authentication service in place. If we would try it right now, we would get an error because the server part is not yet implemented. So let's do that first and then test everything together. This is coming right up in the next few lessons.